Ariana Grande claims that she previously used Botox and fillers to hide. Ariana Grande has come clean about her usage of lip fillers and Botox, which she said she hid behind. During a beauty lesson video for Vogue, the 30-year-old singer-songwriter said that she stopped using the cosmetics in 2018. Over the years, she wore cosmetics as a disguise, especially given that she began her profession so young, she claimed. Full transparency. I've had a ton of lip filler over the years and Botox, she said, before appearing emotional. For a long time, beauty was about hiding for me and now I feel like maybe it's not, since I stopped getting fillers and Botox. And maybe I'll start getting it again one day, I don't know, to each their own whatever makes you feel beautiful I do support. The Seven Rings singer said she stopped in 2018 because it felt so much. I just felt like hiding. I hope my smile lines get deeper and deeper and I laugh more and more, and I just think aging can be such a beautiful thing. Might I get a facelift in 10 years? I might, yeah, but these are just thoughts I feel we should be able to discuss," she added. Reflecting back, she said her view on beauty has changed so much since she was a teenager. Being exposed to so many voices at a young age and especially when people have things to say about your appearance at a young age, it's really hard to know what's worth hearing or not. But, when you're 17, you don't know that yet," she said. It's not the first time Grande has spoken out on appearances. She stated earlier this year in a TikTok video that people should be gentler and less comfortable, while making comments on the appearance of other people's bodies. If you think you're saying something good or well-intentioned, whatever it is, healthy, unhealthy, big, small, this, that, sexy, non-sexy, we just should really work towards not doing that as much," she said. There are ways to compliment someone or to ignore something that you see that you don't like, that I think we should help each other work towards. We should aim toward being safer, and keeping each other safer. She also talked about her own vulnerability, adding, I was on a lot of antidepressants and drinking on them and eating poorly and at the lowest point of my life when I looked the way you consider my healthy but that in fact wasn't my healthy.